What is going on everyone? So today I'm gonna do something very different. I stopped here at the normal spot that I launched my kayak from and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and cast net some finger mullet and I'm gonna take these finger mullet and then I'm gonna go to these saltwater ponds that are around here. I got three of them that I'm gonna try and hit and see if I can get some of these uh, ponds, snook and tarpon that are in here. Should be a lot of fun, I haven't done this in a while. So first we gotta get the cast net going and get some of these finger mullet. There's some right there. Definitely got some. Let's see some jumping. Let's go see what we can get. All right, first spot. In with the mold. I know this pond doesn't look like much, but there's some tarpon in here. And if you know this spot, please don't comment where it is or comment anything about it. So what I'm going to be doing is free lining these mullet. I'm going to be using my 4000 Shimano Stratic CI4 on my St. Croix 7 foot medium action rod. On here I have 20 pound braid and I have about 4 feet of 15 pound leader. This water is pretty clear and a, pretty much a small circle look I could get away with using with these mullet. So what I'm doing is taking this mullet and going from the bottom jaw Your top jaw like that. And all I'm going to be doing is free lining them, so I'm just going to cast them out. Cast them out and wait. There's a little tarpon right there. Spot number one was a bust. I did see a couple, couple of them roll, but couldn't get them to eat the mullet and couldn't get them to eat the, the swim bait. So move on to the next one now. All right, spot number two. I've caught a little tarpon and a little snook out of this little pond. So see if we can keep it going. I'm gonna try using the DOA cowl at first. I've even, seen people catch redfish out of here. Anything's possible. I think these ponds are mostly salt water because I haven't seen any bass or anything in here. Oh, there's a little snook. Oh, three, three snook. There's a bunch of snook. Believe it or not, this pond is actually where I caught my first snook ever. I'm just gonna walk up and down and see if I can see any fish. That was a little tarpon. A little tarpon just rolled right there. Well, I'm talking little, I mean like maybe a pound. I'm thinking about picking up some shrimp and trying that. If I see another tarpon roll, within the next five minutes, I'll go buy some shrimp. Yep, just saw two roll at the same exact time. So I'm gonna see if I can get some shrimp right here. They're tiny. I mean like maybe half a pound. I'm talking like a little six to eight inch tarpon. But then I also saw the snook, so. All right, so I went over and asked this dude for a dozen shrimp. He gave me like two dozen shrimp at least for three bucks. We're gonna get on them now. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bobber. Uh, I'm gonna keep one free line and one bobber. So on here, I got a simple little bobber rig where I just got the, the hook and then about a foot and a half deep. So I'm gonna have this one on a bobber. I'm gonna go over and cast out and let this float around and then I'm gonna free line the other one. Got a shrimp. I'm right back there by the tail. All right, just gonna cast them out there. Let him just swim around. This guy might need a bobber too. Oh, 
something at it. Damn. I just looked over and the bobber is just gone. All right, that's reassuring. They will eat the shrimp. I haven't seen any tarpon roll or get any action in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna head over back toward the truck where the snook were and see if I can get a snook or two. I can see some snook already. There we go. Oh, freaking broke me off. My drag wasn't even that tight. What the hell? All right. All right, let's get another, another shrimp out there. That didn't take long once I got in that spot. got a redfish. I got a redfish. I got like a nice redfish. Woo! I just watched him come over and just slurp up that uh, a shrimp. Come on, dude. It's a lot better fish than I was expecting. Come on. Yeah, that's a nice red. Come on. It's like a 20 inch red. Gotta figure out where I can land them. Let's go over here. I was looking at all the snook and then I just saw this dude come out from like the shadows. Come on, dude. There we go. Look at that redfish. Fishing a little pond and you're pulling out 20 inch redfish. Look at the size of this hook that I got him on too. The hook is tiny. There we go. I got 20 inch redfish right here. Pulled it out of a little saltwater pond on a piece of shrimp. Beautiful fish. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the release on him. There he is. There he goes. Sick. All right. Let's see what else we can get out of that pond. That's so crazy to me that that redfish is in here. There's got to be a way, like, to the water from here. There's no way he's just been living in here. There we go. Little snook. Little baby snook. There we go. Oh, come back. He's a little dirty. That's a little baby snook right there. He may not be the biggest snook in the world, but it's always cool when you can catch him in a pond like this. So I got a redfish and a snook now, so we'll see what happens next. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can get a bigger snook. So I've caught a redfish and a snook now from a pond. Oh, he broke my hook. All right, I gotta put a new hook on. All right, we're back in action now. That was a nice tarpon. That was a good sized tarpon that just rolled right there. That was like a 15 pound tarpon. No way. Well, that was a good sized tarpon. Let's see if I can get a snook again.
Oh, yep, got one. Got another snook. That did not take long at all. There it goes. Oh, jumped off. That's fine with me. I wish I didn't break off on that snook because I could have a, a tarpon shrimp just sitting in the middle, but I don't, I don't feel like retying. Oh, I had one. All right, one last shrimp. Let's see if I can get a snook on him. I really want to come back and try like strictly for tarpon. I didn't know they got like 15 pounders in here. Oh, oh I had something. All right, there goes my last shrimp. Gotta head out of here. Not a bad day out there. Got the two little snook and that good redfish. Uh, saw a bunch of tarpon, couldn't get any of them hooked. I think I might have had a couple bites from them, but all in all, a good day. It's really nice to get out and do something you don't do very often anymore. I used to do this a lot in high school, but it was nice coming back to the same ponds and seeing that they're still fishing here. So might be doing this a couple more times this week and see if I can get some of these tarpon maybe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.